Hey man, it's Ted Politics, baby. We back. I'm cold, y'all, so I I got the hoodie on. I'm cold. But yeah, we back. And this video right here is called Kids Meet Drag Queen Goes Wrong. Blind reaction. I know y'all seen probably the clip I did of it. I hadn't watched it. It was just a clip that I had, you know. But I I, I definitely want to watch this, and we're gonna watch it together. So without further ado, here it is. Oh, and make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. And y'all, I'm sorry. I told y'all I was gonna put the cash app in the description, um, so y'all can start showing love and stuff. I be forgetting, man. I'ma actually do that. I'm gonna go back and put it in all the videos. I I got it in my bio. I got it in my bio on the channel. Um, it's just it's Ted Politics, money sign Ted Politics on Cash App. That's it. Um, and it's literally just like how it is on here. Ted Politics. It's gonna pop up as Frederick's family or Frederick family, and it's gonna be the Ted Politics uh, logo, or uh, AV or whatever you wanna call it. But anyway, man, let's get into it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be very interesting. Um, I'm going to be reacting to it, and there's also going to be somebody else reacting to it. So, let's go. Coming out of the closet means... Coming out of the closet means when you tell everybody uh, that you're gay. It's something that gay people have to do. Do you have to be gay to do drag? No, anybody can do drag. Drag is for anybody and everybody who wants to put on a fun costume and get up on stage and entertain. Make this make sense. This video is brought to you by the Obstetative Store. The Obstetative Store now is available. Just this image right here is to do and be involved in it. And I'm just kidding. But I want you to see the genuine expression from these kids when you see a big a Bigfoot dude with a beard, with his beard hanging out and other stuff, dressing like a girl, trying to tell kids about what a drag queen is. Four years ago, this should tell you the, what the grooming mechanism is. Roll the clip. I think I can see your beard. I see. You can see my beard. <laughs> oh no! It's disgusting. This is disgusting. But uh, y'all gotta watch it with me. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Oh, thank you. I Miko? think I can see I'm a Isabella. beard. What's your name? Kristen. Kristen? Nice to meet you. I'm Isabella. How are you doing? Good. Good. Are you nervous? Yes. Yes. How come? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he said, he said, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I love the movie Shrek. But I love that goddamn donkey. <laughs> what you do with the princess? Why did 
did no one tell South Carolina driver? <laughs> Ever heard of a drag queen before? What is a drag queen? A drag queen is someone who expresses themselves creatively through performance. So dress up in uh, wild costumes, big wigs, crazy makeup, and then get on stage and perform and entertain people. <laughs> <laughs> and I know why you're speaking like that. Like what? Like you look like you would speak in a different way. Yeah. But now you're speaking different. So now I know we're boys. I'm a boy. You're right. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. No, you ain't a boy. You a grown man. That's what you are. But kids, can, these little, little, little children, they can see through this stuff. They can see through the mental illness. Roll the Oh, what? You didn't think I was a boy? You thought I was a girl? No, I'm a boy. How do you feel about that? Yeah, and then I tapped 
glitter into it. Glitter. Yeah, glitter. <laughs> you know, kids do that. Kids can be mean. But there's been a few times that I've encountered people that weren't quite as nice and were a little bit judgmental. Well, I know, I know what to do. Just, Just don't speak because then they think you're like a real one. Don't you think I should Yeah, this house. I'm pretty much not weirded out now. You're not? That, that's yeah, what you're doing. Anybody can do anything they want. If yeah. if they want to wear a dress, that's fine. You just if they want to wear pants. Yeah. And just believe in it. Thank you, Thank you, Isabel. Thank you, guys. It was great to meet you. So good to meet you. Yeah. Is it? Now, what was the purpose of this whole video? What's the purpose? To get kids to watch this. <coughs> See that? To get kids to watch this, to introduce them to this. As you can see, kids are naturally confused like a mother at what they're looking at. But then after you groom them, this is grooming. After you groom them, they become more accepting of these things, right? At the end, they shake their hands and say, oh, I'm not, it's, it's alarm. A kid's natural reaction to a man dressed up like a woman with a beard on is to be alone, which which I, I argue they should. Kids should not be exposed to these type of things because somebody like this is do, 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 do. They, they ain't got it all together. And your kids should be nowhere near that. You can do your little thing by yourself with adults. Hey, ain't nobody tripping on you. You live in America. Right. But when you start introducing kids to this stuff, this is how they groom them. A kid has no reason to know what a, a, a kid can't go to a drag show. <laughs> He's just dropping all the facts right now. Let's just let him continue. Why do they need to know anything about a drag queen? <clears throat> What's the point of introducing a kid to a drag queen? Grooming. They're grooming kids. This is their whole purpose and mission. <clears throat> That's like a stripper going into a, a thing and sit down and say, you a stripper, why do you dress like this? They'll never have a stripper interview because they want to, to condition these kids to be open to pedophilia. You, somebody proved me wrong. You can't. It's yeah. obvious it's the noonday sun. All you gotta do is open your eyes and, and see. And he ain't the only one Ladies saying that. That's the crazy thing. He ain't the only one saying that. He like the second person that I heard say that. And it's the truth. It really is. They really trying to make it like a pedophile ass place to live. Like, that shit crazy. I think we having that over here. <laughs> Anyways, Ted Politics, make sure you like, subscribe, share. I, I'm going to get this cash app up. I promise I'm about to get this cash app up. So y'all can start showing love. Me and my little girl could remain staying at home, chilling. I mean, we go out, y'all. Let me just get that clear. We go places. We go to the store. We go shopping. She go to her, um, look, she go play with her little cousin. Um, my son, nah, I ain't gonna say my son, but he kind of like my godson when I babysit him, she get to play with him. <clears throat> she interact with other babies. She just, she ain't just around grown up. She around kids. You feel me? But, she with daddy all the time. And I'm trying to make it stay that way until she don't want it like that no more. But, um, yeah, y'all, I appreciate y'all, man. I really do. I got to a thousand subscribers. That 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 made I. Oh my God! Y'all don't even know how that felt. Really felt like I wasn't gonna never get there, honestly. But when I finally did, I was like, okay, I gotta give them some because they've been showing love. So I hopefully I'm hoping that these videos have been better and that y'all have been enjoying them more. Um, and yeah, man, y'all just be safe out there and stay dangerous all at the same time. 
and we'll be back with another one at another time. <clears throat>